Good day guys, Bing here. Today I'm going to show you a very quick example, a very simple example of a global parameter. We will use this global parameter to control a roof and a truss at the same time. So let's start. So first create a project. Okay, so um, we need a roof but we won't be able to use roof by footprint so I'll, I'll show you why okay so if I create a roof and I make it a gable roof and I finish it let's go to 3d view if I select this roof you will find that this ang angle the slope we won't be able to create a global parameter for it okay so now what we need to do is we need a uh, let's go to side plan instead so we we need a roof by extrusion okay but before that we need let's just create some uh, reference plans so the horizontal this one this the horizontal work, uh, reference plan here will be the the plan we create the profile of the roof these two uh, let's pretend they are to wall or the edge of the roof okay so let's let's create the roof by extrusion pick a plan okay pick this reference plan, or reference plan and we can use the elevation south and click okay so now we can create uh, the profile of the roof so so like this okay and also we need to lock these two edge onto the horizontal and vertical reference plane so al lock and lock same here lock and lock so now we can create angular uh, dimensions or angular dimension one and two and select this dimension and create so this will create a global parameter okay so let's call it a1 and once again this creates a2 global parameter and also you will see this little pencil here if you click on this pencil it will bring you to this uh, global parameter menu okay so now if we finish it if i if we go to 3d view and if we go manage and global parameter so we will be able to control the angle so for example i'll change this to 660 degree yeah change to 25 yeah and okay so now this is the roof um now let's create the structure so new family so the truss structure structural truss okay so open um, it is possible to create a truss with only a bottom cord and a top cord and use the attach use the attached attach top to the roof but today I'm going to show you uh, how to use global parameter to control it okay so bottom cord one top cord so we will create two. Oh. So trim it now. We, we, we don't need to constrain because um, just need we don't need to because sometimes you don't really need to constrain. It will automatically find some constraint itself. Okay, so di angular dimension here, another one here. So for this one, I'm going to create a new parameter. So uh, this one, make sure you will need, I'll explain, I'll, I'll show you why. Okay, I'll create this one as A1 and as instance parameter. I'll create this one on the right hand side. I'll create it as A2, but this one time I'll use type parameter. I'll show you the difference. If I load this into the project, and I go to side plan and um, if I create go to structure trust and I'll create a trust here 
So let, let's go back to 3D view. So this is a trust we did. And um, go to the properties of this trust. You will see this is the angle one, which is an uh, instance parameter. We won't be able to see, we won't be able to link this to global parameter. But if we go to edit type, and if you find the A2, which is the type parameter, so we will be able to link this to the global parameter. So I'll link this one to A2, so you will see the A2 instantly match the rule. And so let's just edit family, edit family and change. Sorry, we can select this one and uncheck this one instant parameter, so which will just make this uh, as a type parameter. Now load this back into the project and then select this trust again, edit type, find the A1 and then link this to global parameter A1 and OK. And now the trust uh, will match the roof. And of course, you might need you might need to adjust maybe the the length or to or the the height to uh, to match the roof. Okay. Something like I don't um, <laughs> won't allow me to do it. So maybe you need to adjust the roof. Oh, sorry, adjust the height maybe. But once you done this, and then you can control the um, both the roof and the truss in the global parameter. So, for example, if I change to forty-five degree and forty-five degree, okay. And this. And also you can just have some trust. Uh, you don't need to have, if, if you use attached roof, the trust must be under this roof. Okay, but this way you, you don't need, the trust don't need to under the roof, so it will always match the angle, but you just need to, maybe just need to manually adjust a little bit. But this is only a, an example of a global parameter. Okay, so which you can use one the same parameter to control different elements. In this case, is roof and truss. You can also use them for different other different uh, elements. So, for example, you can have different um, families. You can have um, but link to the same global parameter and control them together. So for example, you can have different, you can have different furnitures, tables, chairs, but you can link the material to a same so parameter. So for example, you can create a new parameter and use the material. And so for, for example, you cannot name it all the you know furniture and and then you can just use this one to control all the different uh, families in your project. Okay, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Bye.